Narrated by Abdullah bin Umar When Allah Apostle was in Ta'if, trying to conquer it, he said to his companions, Tomorrow we will return, to Medina, if Allah wills. Some of the companions of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, We will not leave till we conquer it. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Therefore, be ready to fight tomorrow. On the following day, they, Muslims, fought fiercely, with the people of Ta'if, and suffered many wounds. Then Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Tomorrow we will return, to Medina, if Allah wills. His companions kept quiet this time. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him then smiled. Narrated by Abu Huraira A man came to the Prophet peace be upon him and said, I have been ruined for I have had sexual relation with my wife in Ramadan, while I was fasting, the Prophet peace be upon him said to him, Manumit a slave. The man said, I cannot afford that. The Prophet peace be upon him said, then fast for two successive months continuously. The man said, I cannot do that. The Prophet peace be upon him said, then, feed sixty poor persons. The man said, I have nothing, to feed them with. Then a big basket full of dates was brought to the Prophet. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Where is the questioner? Go and give this in charity. The man said, Shall I give this in charity, to a poorer person than I? By Allah, there is no family in between these two mountains, of Medina, who are poorer than we. The Prophet peace be upon him then smiled till his premola teeth became visible, and said, Then feed your family with it. Narrated by Anas bin Malik While I was going along with Allah's messenger peace be upon him who was wearing a Najrani bird, sheet, with a thick border, a Bedouin overtook the Prophet peace be upon him and pulled his rida, sheet, forcibly. I looked at the side of the shoulder of the Prophet peace be upon him, and noticed that the edge of the rida had left a mark on it because of the violence of his pull. The Bedouin said, O Muhammad! Order for me some of Allah's property which you have. The Prophet peace be upon him turned towards him, smiled, and ordered that he be given something. Narrated by Jarir The Prophet peace be upon him did not screen himself from me, had never prevented me from entering upon him, since I embraced Islam, and whenever he saw me, he would receive me with a smile. Once I told him that I could not sit firm on horses. He stroked me on the chest with his hand, and said, O oh Allah! Make him firm and make him a guiding and a rightly guided man.